Hey folks, how you doing? It's Bino. I'm pretty busy. Uh, I'll take you to my channel in a little bit and show you some links I put in there for some stuff that you might want to do to secure your email. And then there's other packages in the future for you taking care of all your links and stuff like that and getting tracked and tagged and everything like that. So anyway, we've got this action. It's really important to pay attention here of how long we get this action here that you're seeing from the sun. And I'll slow the clock down a little bit to make you realize that uh, how uh, long that it's See that? And we'll just keep slowing down and we'll get more into count the hours there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine hours. If that stayed out there like that. It's a welding rod. Remember, the sun is a welding rod. Okay? radioactive nuclear fusion nuclear fission static electrical and that's what you're seeing is you're not seeing flames folks you're seeing everything that you see is material dust and particles in solar wind and everything and also electrical energy light curvature remember you can take a candle light a candle you can get insulate yourself you can't you really should not do it because you can shock yourself pretty bad uh, you get 20,000 volts off of a old candle. I don't know what you'd get from a new candle. You'd still get electricity. If you have two uh, metal, highly or fairly good electrical conductive objects like paddles, but you have to have insulated handles and you have to insulate your hands. And then you can hold it on either side of a candle and you'll get, you, you'll get pretty much equivalent of about 18,000 to 20,000 volts that you'll be able to see that will emanate from the butterfly effect from left to right and right to left on each side uh, of the flame okay so basically uh, electrically here uh, we've got some crazy stuff because as you can see you watch the clock and you can see how long that that stays around you see so I thought you'd give you this right away and I'm really busy, so basically I'll show you a little bit more. Now remember, Uranus is somewhere here in between. Okay, and then basically Neptune is pretty much somewhere up here in the satellite uh, solar panel. And then as you can see again that we are getting a lot of uh, activity. And then I'll go to the 8th also. We'll zoom in on a little bit here. And then uh, as you can see that we're getting bling 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 energy there okay so and then earth is over here and remember uh, this is our object that came around the Sun clockwise okay it's very large uh, matter of fact I'll just zoom in on it here we'll get 999 so we're at 999 and you know that this thing's a hell of a long distance away from earth and we ain't worried about it at all but you can see that it, the uniqueness to it that it came around the Sun clockwise and you can keep on keeping an eye on this thing because it's very large and let me show you the date and the time okay and this is from the seventh I can give you the eighth it's not going to change too much it's just going to be a little bit farther over but we'll go ahead and look at the eighth for looking at uh, remember this came clockwise around the Sun which the Sun is over here okay the Sun is over here where my cursor is at and then that this came around clockwise around the Sun when pan stars so it's very very unique okay pop in at 400 because I was already up at 9.99 but there you go so very interesting very unique uh, and we've seen the magnetic line on it before so and for quite a while we've had this down here flaring below earth and I got earth I got them to market earth <laughs> little tricks of the trade or the tricks of the tricking the magicians at the Sechi to, uh, and then let me get it over here. There's Earth, and then whatever we got down there below us, and it should not be the moon because it stays there 24 hours. You know, the moon goes around Earth. So, actual factual there for you. Okay, and then uh, it shouldn't be Mercury. So, but something is definitely, uh, 
statically flaring up down there big time and let's just get a zoom in on it real fast we'll go 999 like I always like to do is I always like to try to give you the that we're zooming in I love the software that they've got that I've got I don't own it I bought it but I mean you know what I'm saying you can buy it too just go I'm not gonna you know I never tell anybody exactly what computer and software I'm using because it just helps more hackers so there's Earth doing its action, and then down below, we've got that going on. So, static magnetical or just our magnetical, that is something to be, you know, contemplating. But uh, it definitely looks like that there is uh, something going on, and it's not Mercury. But then if it is, like I've always tried to tell everybody that, and see, Mercury should, it shouldn't be, because Mercury should be out here away from Earth some way. So definitely got an interesting static going on down there on the lower end of our magnetical. I'm not trying to scare anybody, it's just actual factually you're seeing the scientific fact of what we're seeing down there below Earth on its magnetical line doing that action right there. Okay, uh, It's not really going to help going up 999. I mean, I'll go, I'm at 999. It's not going to help going on the zoom a little bit. I will in the future if we get a little bit clearer shot. I'm giving this an HD. I hope it comes through pretty clean. And then remember on all this, the sun's off here to the right. Okay. Let me pop down the size real fast. Sorry I didn't do it real fast like I was saying, but I'm not really sorry either. So anyway, that's what we're getting. That's the sun over here doing all that fusion action. I'm just throwing this video together real fast. And remember, this is Earth and Mercury there. And then you'll have your constant that we're basically watching what's, you know, there is a star cluster and everything up behind Saturn up over here. And then we've still got our uh, magnetical here to here matching up. And then uh, also we are bleeding and seeing this and this match up. Massive distances, I'm sure. And remember Saturn's over here. It's probably Saturn there. I'm not for darn sure, but let me take a We'll match this up. And remember, this is we're getting this off of H1 stereo A ahead one two. So we'll go ahead and look at the eighth footage and see what we're seeing on the eighth. Same shot and see if they got anything marked. And remember the magnetical lineups because basically I can take you like this and you can see that lining up there. You see how it matches on the, on the border. That magnetically lines up and then this also magnetically lines up and what I'm showing you magnetically lines up is this here and this here and then you can see the kind of just a little bit of the curvature of the Van Allen belts and the magneticals and remember that these are probably tied to a different Sun not our Sun okay so this here and straight down right here as I move this over a little bit you see that magnetically lines up okay and then uh, you get your earth and mercury marked here like I was showing you and then they have Saturn marked so now we'll go ahead and we'll see what we're getting that basically lines up with Saturn because basically we know where Saturn's at now you know, and as you can see there's actually a planet that is up above Saturn that is magnetically tied to it and basically bang bang right there and now as we look at that, they see they've got Saturn marked. And then we've got our bang bang up there that's matched up to magnetically tied to. And then we'll swing over and you'll see it magnetically tied here. And that's magnetically tied up there. And you can see it up there. And that's not Saturn's shadow up there. Okay. That's because you're seeing on the magnetical shot right here that you just you're not going to see too much of a shadow of anything okay now you can see the shadow of this planet whatever the hell that is up there on the back side of it there and you can see the back side of Saturn's shadow a little bit there too because that is Saturn and then you go over here and the sun's over here the sun is over here that's what's doing the CME action right there okay remember that's earth and then you got mercury remember we got these two that are bleeding through that are either connected in our solar system or they're like maybe connected to two solar systems okay because basically you've got Saturn mark and then also this is the same right there okay 
this here magnetically bang and bang is what we're wondering about. And then up here and here. Bang, bang. Remember, it's zoom in here on this shot. There's a zoom out on this shot. So, and then we are on the other side. Each one A there. Different shot. Okay. So, let's take you over and show you what we're seeing here from this magnetical shot, of which is H1, A2, and then we screw. screw Scoot over, and we'll go to the live, I mean, the, the freshest footage we've got of this, the Saturn and Mercury, and remember that that's the same thing that you're getting right here in this, in this magnetical shot right here, okay, so, we'll go take a look and see what we're seeing besides Saturn here, and then we're always wanting to kind of know what this here, this planetoid object there is, and that planetoid object there, and you can see the magnetical. And there and there. Now just pop in the speed that they have it set. And remember, you can see Saturn. They got it marked off right away. And there. And then I can take you over, you know, and make you realize that what we're looking at, that's Saturn there. Remember, we're wanting to know what the heck this and this is. Okay, Mercury and Earth there. And then we're over here. So then we got this here magnetically tied together here. And we're also going to zoom in here real fast. 400 and see what we've got going on. That we do know that we see a planet magnetical that's up behind the solar panel right there. You can't miss it. Okay, you can't miss this, and you can even see a little bit more over here. So there's a planet, and you can still see that we have a hyperbolic action going on behind there because of the flashing on the magnetical line of whatever planetoid magnetical that that's going through there. And you can even see some more a little over here. There's, there's tons of planets that are, you know, still, you know, even Saturn is a hell of a long way from the Sun and Earth, you know, but actually actually and I can slide over here I think we can get a magnetical line going on it will you know got the border going on Saturn there and we'll go up and see what we've got above that matches in and basically the magnetically tied together planet it's got just it's basically going to be this one right here that's tied to Saturn and that's that's it right there so and then I'll slide down real fast you can see that that's Saturn, and that's the planet up there that's tied into Saturn. That one right there. Okay, I move my cursor away. Okay, and then we slide over, and we get our magnetical. What we're seeing, that is, uh, we'll probably have to be able to do it on this side of the screen, and I can't. And then our magnetical on these planets here, because basically this one there, in the lower corner, and then it comes back down to it, this massive one that's up there. So, we'll figure out what planets those are. Remember... It's not Neptune and Pluto and stuff like that. So, and there's that one that's magnetically tied up to that one there, below, and then this one here. And remember that this one here is the one that's magnetically tied right here, and then I'll pop over to the picture real fast. You can see this is what Saturn is tied to. It's tied to that up there, which is that right there. Okay, this one here, the biggest one. Okay, and then over here to the right, this here, which is magnetically tied to this down here, as I slide down again, so it pops in. I got to get over just a little bit, okay? But it's tied. It's magnetically tied to that right there. So we can figure out what you, what it is, and then we can see it right here in the shot. Because boom, it's tied. The big one is up there. Boom, it's tied to that down there. I can pop over real fast. It's that big. You know, might be even, that even could be a galaxy, don't get me wrong, that far away. But it's tied to whatever this is down there. So, and then we have whatever is tied to Saturn above, high, which is uh, scooting over. And then I just have to go down and get Saturn. And remember this magnetic line that we're seeing there behind the solar panel. So we go up and we get Saturn real fast, because that's Saturn right there by my cursor. And then we go up. And whammo, you got the other planet, whatever it is, magnetically tied up ab above there. And that's that right there. So 
Offen is van niet.